it's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be talking about the products that I use in my Worth the Hype video and testing out new makeup releases. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on how I'm liking them on my skin after using them for more than a month now. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about the products because I know this video is going to be so long because I, again, tried out a bunch of new makeup products. So first is the Urban Decay Born to Run Eyeshadow Palette. I initially loved that palette, but then I I found myself having to work with it a lot more than my usual um, eyeshadow formulas that I already have. So I did end up returning the palette. To be honest, I found it really worth it for the price of $54 with all of the shades in there. But the fact that I had to go back and forth in one of like the colors just to get the pigmentation that I want on my eyes on my eyelid made me think that it might not be worth it and I don't Feel like it was working out for me so I did have to go back to Ulta and return it with the name Ur Urban Decay and all the Naked series you would think that the sh the formula is already perfect but it wasn't for me huh so next is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick oh my gosh this Makeup Revolution Fast Base foundation stick I truly truly love it I use it for every day now it's super easy to use super creamy blendable the coverage is nice for every day it's like a good medium coverage that it covers your imperfections but it doesn't look full coverage glam if you know me i'm into like full coverage looks but for every day i want it to look full coverage but natural so i feel like the makeup revolution foundation stick did that job i do like to set it with a pressed powder after a pressed powder and not um, a loose setting powder just because i feel like i don't need that much powder to set it because it already has so much coverage to it i just wanted to like set it with a kind of a translucent powder but not a loose powder because i feeling ko and damage so I did go and purchase a translucent pressed powder to go with it so I'm gonna test that out and I'll let you guys know and update you guys um once I do get to try that but yeah overall the makeup revolution fast fast base foundation stick highly highly recommend it if you're into kind of a medium coverage look for every day and it's also super affordable that's the best thing about it the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer I ended up returning it as well because for me for a concealer to perform well, it has to cover up my under eyes and that one did not and I feel like it made my under eyes look a little bit darker pa nga. So yeah, I went ahead and returned that. To be honest, I really like the formula of that with the blendability of it and all. Pero the fact that it made my but the fact that it made my bags a little bit darker threw me off. So yeah, I did return it, like I said. Next is the Elf Contour Blush and Bronzer Combo. So the duo kit. The the one in the shade Fiji. Like the fast base foundation stick, instantly fell in love with it. And I kept saying it was six dollars, but oh my gosh, I checked that Ulta, it was only four dollars. Four dollars for a contour and a blush powder that works amazing it lasts throughout the whole day it's the perfect shade for me for like a natural contour as well as the blush shade it's a little subtle blush of color lang and again like i said four dollars last throughout the whole day no brainer keep it and then next i have the stella glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows to be honest i really love it it's super pigmented but do note that you need to use a glitter primer underneath it because i used it throughout the whole day and in one of my vlogs i believe the shop with me vlog there was like glitter all over my face. It was just falling off of my face because hindi ko nga ng glitter primer. Overall, I really love it. The pigmentation is nice. Um, It wasn't itchy on my skin as well even if it was glitter but it was falling out because I didn't prime it well enough. So I went ahead and bought some glitter primer like the NYX. No, actually a pigment primer for NYX and I'm gonna try that out because the glitter primer was out of stock at Ulta when I was buying it so I just tried on the pigment primer and I'll be trying that out and update you guys on how well it goes but overall i really like it just do know that you have to prime it first so that it doesn't fall off and doesn't like ruin your makeup and then that's everything that's new that i tried in the worth it um hyped up makeup for my testing out new makeup first is the physician's formula spotlight primer i still have the same thought about it like at the in at the onset i really liked it it was kind of similar to the becca backlight primer and i still think that way i haven't gotten myself um to purchasing the Becca 
backlight primer to try it side by side. But talking about the Physician's Formula primer itself for $16, I think it's worth it because it has the same look that the Becca backlight primer gives you and it's not drying at all and I feel like it makes my skin look a lot healthier and radiant for just $16. So yes, I did keep that product and I'm loving it and I actually need to keep using it for every day because I'm a creature of habit and a lot of times when I'm so used to like a certain makeup routine, I just leave it on my desk and that's what I use for the whole entire week. So yeah, I need to like keep on using that. Next is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Stick. So at the onset, I really liked it too. I told myself na, oh, nga, it's kind of similar to the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick. But continuing to use it throughout the week made me realize, actually no, it's a lot more difficult to blend. And I found out that if I use it throughout the whole day, it has that same effect as yung kasa color pop na parang siyang namumuo on your face. I don't know how do you call that in English, but it kind of lumps at certain areas of your face making it look cakey pero hindi siya cakey kasi some of the areas of your face doesn't have foundation anymore I don't know if it's because of the tool that I use of how I applied it so I'm going to go ahead and continue experimenting with that as well as the ColourPop foundation because I really want those two to work for me so I still have it here in my vanity and I'm still going to be trying to make it work for me because I know a lot of other people like it and it works for them I just can't seem to find a way to make it work for me kasi what I like about it is when you apply it on your face, it looks beautiful. It's just the wear that's throwing me off. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to experiment with it and see what um, primers I can use with it and whatnot. So I'm gonna park that, those two products just yet and not give a final verdict on those two because I really wanna give them a chance. I'm such a foundation person that I'm giving it a chance pero yung Born to Run palette, sinoli ko na lang. I don't know why. Next is the ColourPop Cosmetics No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder in Medium Dark. Nothing too special about it. Nothing's nothing threw me off about it as well. It's just your regular pressed powder. So enough said. If you have other pressed powders in your collection, then I don't think you need this pressed powder to like, you know, just clutter your collection. It's a good pressed powder, but not great enough for me to like rave about it. Now we have the Milani Gilded Desires Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my gosh. For a drugstore product, it performed so well. As you can see in my video, the pigmentation of the shadows were amazing and for only $20, you get all those colors as well as the highlighters. They were both so buttery and so nice. So like when you swipe it on your cheeks as well, I'm not using that today. But yeah, when you swipe it on your cheeks, it kind of has that wet look as well. So yes, for $20, I really still love it. I do have to play with it a bit more and create more looks using that palette. But overall, I really like it and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a new palette that has both matte and shimmery shades. The Milani Gilded Desires palette has a good formula and for 20 bucks it definitely gives you the bang for your buck okay and now we have of course the maybelline master chrome highlighter guys do you see this highlight oh my gosh i've been using that highlighter for every day high-end look drugstore look glam or everyday neutral look i use that highlighter because it's just so amazing it, it made me fall in love with highlighters even more and for eight dollars i definitely think it's worth it because it has almost the same formula as my high-end highlighters and that in itself is amazing and oh my gosh for eight dollars you will really not regret it if you purchase it it's not powdery at all like when i swipe it on my face it has that wet look it lasts throughout the whole day. $8 last throughout the whole day. Saan ka pa, diba? Sobrang I love it talaga. As in, nakita nga ng mom ko when I was FaceTiming her this morning. She was like, parang, bakit ang shiny ng face mo? It looks so nice. I'm like, ah, my highlighter, Maybelline Master Chrome. I really love the shade Molten Rose Gold and Molten Gold. And then I ended up returning Molten Peach and Molten Topaz because Molten Topaz was a bit too dark for me and I'm really not into like glittery, shimmery bronzers. So I did end up returning that as well as the Molten Peach shade because I felt like I had the Molten Rose Gold was perfect already for a pinkish highlighter. So yeah, I didn't think I really need those. Last but not the least is the Maybelline Long Lasting Shine Lipstick in Spicy Sangria. I really love that because it was a shade that I didn't have in my collection. And to be honest, I really love the formula of the 
lipstick so I ended up purchasing five more shades and I'll be doing a review and a swatch test of all of the shades here in my channel so if you're not subscribed to my channel be sure to subscribe at the end of this video and don't forget to like this video joke I'm not yet done but yeah don't forget to subscribe so you can see that um, swatch test but yeah I did end up getting all of the shades because I've been into layering clear lip gloss or like lip oil on top of my matte lipsticks like in the middle because I'm kind of done with the matte lipstick face matte liquid lipstick face and tra slowly transitioning into like lipsticks satin lipsticks shiny lipsticks just because I don't know I just got so tired of the matte formula and to be honest it's kind of not right for me because I have dry skin prior to me using like a lip mask every night but Pag nag-apply ako ng matte formula on my lips, wala na yan. As in, dried out, crap. But that's why I'm trying to transition then into using a lot more, you know, shiny lipsticks, creamy formulas para it's not as drying. So that's why I fell in love then with the shine lipstick because the formula was not drying at all. The only con to it is you do have to reapply it every every so often because it's not a matte um, liquid lipstick formula that's that claims to last on your face no, not on your face. That claims to last on your lips the whole day. It's more of a shiny, nice, everyday lipstick that you can use and leave in your purse and just use it on the go. It's super easy to use and that's why I really love it. So yeah, that is all I have to say for every makeup product that I used this month, like in my videos that I tested out and tried. So I'm really thinking of giving you guys more of an update at the end of every month just because a lot I really love filming the first impressions not really first impressions foundation but really but more of like the first impressions on like other makeup products aside from foundation but yeah um i'm thinking of actually filming more of these update at the end of the month of like the products i tested out earlier because a lot of times my opinions will change as i use it throughout the whole month and i want to let you guys know how I, what i think about them at the end of each month because initially I would love a product and then I would end up hating it or initially I would hate a product and then find a way to work it out and make it work for me tapos I ended up loving it so yeah it's really just giving all the products a, a second chance to work with me or to not work with me but yeah anyway if you found this video helpful of course don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time bye, bye.